What up, y'all? All right, finally getting this video in right before the first of the year, and this is my uh, top 10 Jordan 3 through 14 cops for me this year. Uh, I will say there's one shoe that I haven't copped yet, but I am in the process of getting that shoe. So uh, with that being said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, like, comment, hit that notification bell. All that like good stuff. And let's hurry up and reach that 600 subs so we can do that supreme giveaway. Um, <clears throat> I actually have a vape shirt on today. Uh, we got a pup here at the store, and uh, she went outside, jumped up on my shirt, and got my supreme shirt dirty. So I had to change shirt, but I uh, did have a you know outfit for the video, but it didn't quite work out. So uh, let's get this video started. Um, I will go ahead and say. I'm going back and double checking on a couple. <clears throat> Honorable mentions. Uh, I really probably got about five. All right. We got the Indigo 12s. The uh, University Gold 12s. Now, these went crazy online. Uh, and then the Concord Bread 11 Lows. And these right here, I, I feel like it's going to be a really good hold right here. Um, next is going to be the top three uh, Jordan 5s, which this was in my personal collection. Um, <clears throat> I just didn't feel like toting Tim shoes or 10 plus shoes down here to work when we had some here already so some of these shoes i've got at the house in my collection y'all see me unbox them but i just didn't feel like bringing that many pairs so if you see some wrapped or some that looks a little bit bigger um it's just some that instead of bringing them all here uh i use some of the ones that we had here at the shop so save me some, a little bit of trouble um but yeah top three jordan fives dope colorway uh some people complained about this tongue but as time went on people you know that didn't bother them and more and more people really like this shoe i mean it's a good clean shoe you know got good materials good colors what what's the problem you feel me but <clears throat> okay number 10 spot was uh really like the next three spots uh, i'm not really gonna say that this is my number 10, this is my number nine on like how I voted, but I'm just gonna say, all right, here's 10. But once we get up to like the top one, two, three, four, five, top six, that's my votes. But the next four, you could interchange any one of them, or the next three, you could interchange any one of them. All right, and uh, with number 10, I gotta go with the Oregon Fives, the junior release. Jordan 5 organs. Uh, this was uh, made just like the PEs. Um, the, I, I'm liking them giving us a general release version of the PEs for the people that can't spend a couple grand. Can have almost the same shoe. It looks pretty much the same. Might not be quite as high quality of materials that they'd use on the player editions and uh, or player exclusives, whatever you want to call them. And there's a couple little things like this don't have the, the organ O on it. Or whatever but you know who cares it's a it's a dope shoe so uh that's number 10 for right now all right <clears throat> number nine you know these i feel like people kind of slept on these this uh we got this in a in a pack um along with a jordan 11 back years ago and then they finally released it as a solo shoe and that would be the dmp jordan sixes um and that, anybody that knows that whenever I've done this video, I really like these. Uh, just clean shoe. Got this dope little metal Jordan uh, gold tag on here. You know, those just clean. You know what I'm saying? Uh, got the, uh, mine's got dust all on because they've been in the closet put up. But, uh, you know, you got this translucent sole uh, with, along with the black, a little bit of gold. And the rest of the shoe is just black and gold. Um, Nice shoe. That's number nine. Now, some people's gonna, on this next shoe, this ain't about 
what went for the most amount of money. This next shoe is just a shoe that I flat out liked, and I know a ton of other just OG sneakerheads really like in general, and everybody thought this shoe was gonna go crazy. Um, but here's the thing, I've got my pairs put up in my closet, and I know this shoe's gonna do numbers. This is gonna take a little bit of time, because too many people um, panic sold this shoe, and they made a lot of pairs, so therefore, you know, it drove the prices down. But that would be the Bel Air Jordan 5s. I know I've showed a few 5s already, but <clears throat> that's about it. It was the year of the 5s, so of course we're going to have several dope 5s. But this was just a really dope shoe, y'all. Um, we They did give us the original uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air Jordan 5s, so they give us a, a different version. And I like it, you know, basically everything was about the same, but instead of being like a, a gray suede, it was a white leather. You know, and for summertime, this is a dope shoe. Very dope shoe. Uh, so that is my number one. What I say? Nine? Number nine, I think. Yeah, number nine. All right. Uh, okay. My number eight shoe is the Jordan 3 Fragment. Uh, a lot of people clowned on this shoe, but to be honest, it's made with some good materials, and it's just a clean looking shoe. Uh, when you take any Jordan 3 and you just got a, a, a clean colorway on it, now I will say, I wish they would have done the, the elephant print on these. I feel like if they would have done like elephant print, like somewhere on here, like this black was like elephant print. And, uh, you know, maybe put the black midsole or something right here and, and put that lettering in white. Like, that would have been cool, and I believe that it was sold crazy. But uh, they did sell out instantly, and prices was going pretty high up there for a little bit, and then they just shot way down. Now you can get them, I think, for under 400 which that's why I'm in the process of going ahead and getting them because these will go up. You look at any fragment, and they're 1000 plus, you know, and, and more and more people starting to like this shoe and, uh, you know, starting to, you know, really see the, the, you know, the quality in the shoe. So therefore, more and more people starting to buy them and put them in their collection. A lot of big sneaker heads has this shoe in their collection. So that's my number eight. All right. My number seven. is these, the purple metallic Jordan 4s. And I really like this shoe. When I done the video on it, I was like, when I first saw this shoe, I was like, wow, the material on this, it's basically like the pure bunnies, but with purple uh, tabs right here, and purple behind the tongue, and some purple emblems on the shoe, and a purple uh, <clears throat> airbag. So, or the purple guts to the airbag. Uh, a little bit of purple on the bottom and I told everybody this shoe's gonna go up and I've seen like it's already like $300 plus and I've seen sales for this shoe going from as high as 400 and you know 400 to 500 dollars plus I've seen sales go for that high on StockX so this shoe um, is definitely uh, was like I said it was gonna be a money shoe it was gonna go up and it did. And I told as many people that could get pairs when you could buy them. They was laying around for two twenty-five. And I told people buy this shoe, buy this shoe. And people didn't buy it. And now I've had several people message me. I was like, man, I wish I'd bought that shoe. So that is, uh, I believe, my number seven. All right, my number six shoe uh, is an OG. We ain't, had, we ain't had this shoe since 1989, and I gotta give it respect for just being one of the OGs of this year. That is the Fire Red 4s. And I forgot my Fire Red 5s, but you could put both of those side by side because they're just OG shoes, OG colorways. And anytime Jordan Brand gives us a, a awesome OG colorway, you, 
you can't you can't disagree with it you know uh these are starting to go up in price and i will tell you if you got a pair of these or if you got multiple pairs sit on them if you sit on them for about six to eight more months they'll be over three hundred dollars so right now they've done jumped over 250 uh and, and probably gonna hit around 400 within a year so um sit on these don't sleep on this if you got a chance to buy them for 250 buy them invest in them Okay, my number five shoe is going to be the Union Jordan 4 uh, Off Noors. Um, I didn't hit on the Guava Ice, but the more that I've looked at this shoe and then looked online at the Guava Ice shoe, I like the black one better. Um, I, I really like what they, how they kind of stepped out of the box with this shoe and just made something wild, you know. And I can respect the creativity of, of, of this shoe. Um, like I said, just dope shoe. And I really like this tab right here. I wish they'd have put this on one of the other shoes I'm fixing to show y'all. I'm gonna show you here in a minute and show you what it would look like on it. All right, so that's my number five. My number four. I've seen some people put this up higher, some people put it lower, but we have the off-white Jordan 5, uh, the sail colorway. Um, I, I, this is another one that I just like the creativity of it, um, stepping outside the box, you know, some dope material. I, I wish that we could get some more shoes like this, like even if this wouldn't have been a off-white, and if they took off any off-white branding, they didn't give us off-white shoelaces, just gave us some regular shoelaces, and, and just made the shoe the same way, um, I'd still like this shoe. Um, I, I like stuff that's wild and crazy, and, and this is just dope, you know. Uh, I really like how they made, they kept the 23, stitch 23 on the side, and the uh, Nike Air on the back, and then they made it where it's see-through. I think on fives, they need to have that 23 on the side. That's what really makes the shoe look good. And uh, Virgil really done a good job on designing this shoe. And uh, I think it should be on anybody's top 10 list this year. Um, now we're down to the, the top three. And I'm not gonna lie, this was where it got a little tricky. Um, And I've been hesitant on swapping a couple out, but my number three is the Jordan 13 Flints. Uh, awesome shoe, really dope colorway, and uh, I, I hit. This was the first shoe that I hit on getting into reselling. That I hit on multiple pairs, and uh, you know sold several. And actually wished that I would have. Uh, you know, really push to get the max dollar out of them. I made decent off of them, you know what I mean? But this is what built my uh, uh, addiction for wanting to resell sneakers and, and get into it and go hard. Whenever I went and I was able to cop five pairs of these right off the rip, then I knew that I, I was in there and I was gonna do something with this. So uh, number three spot, Jordan 13 Flint's. All right, my number two, <clears throat> anybody who knows me knows which Jordans I'm a big fan of. And this year, uh, they gave us one, and there was so much, uh, you know, talk, bad talk, good talk about it, people just all in uproar, people nitpicking little things. But when it boils down to it, this is a clean shoe. And they gave us a few things that we liked on the shoe and some things people didn't like on it. But me personally, I love it. And we have the Jordan 11 Jubilees. <clears throat> we got the high cut patent leather, um, basically a space jam, but silver here and a smoked out bottom um, or milky bottom, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, I, I really like this shoe and love that smell. Um, Everybody that came into the shop that's seen this shoe loves it. 
Uh, I've seen a couple people kind of nag on it, but I'm a Jordan 11 guy. That was one of the first Jordans like growing up that really, really just drawed me close to Jordans. That really just like, when I got the Jordan 11, uh, you know, the first three Jordan 11s when they came out back in the mid 90s, uh, I went nuts over them. And it made me want to get more and more Jordans after that. You know, even though <clears throat> I had had other Jordans in the past, but this is what really made me love Jordans was the Jordan 11. So my number one spot is another shoe that was made after a PE. Um, but if you know my favorite college team, then you know what it is. Uh, I, I did wear this a couple of times. Well, this is one of the shoes that I said that I went to church, had on a different pair of shoes, pulled up at church in the parking lot, threw this shoe on, wore it in the church, came back out after church to my truck, hopped in my truck, took the shoes off, and put another pair on and put these back in the box and got home and cleaned the bottoms up. <clears throat> and this is my number one, y'all. The Jordan 3 UNC's. This shoe, uh, I wish I'd have hit on a ton of pairs of these, but this was the first shoe that uh, I hit on that really got me back into Jordans, like not reselling, but got me back into Jordans. This was the first Jordan, not my first Jordan that I bought when I got back into collecting, but the first one that I was like, oh my God, I gotta have that. Um, Y'all know that the Jordan 4 Winters, that was one of my first ones that I got getting back into collection, collecting Jordans, and I bought those just to wear. But this was the first one that I was like, oh, I'm not gonna wear this, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna save this shoe. And the numbers on these has been going crazy. Uh, another $400 plus shoe. Um, <clears throat> as y'all can tell, the bottoms on mine still look brand new. There's no tail of anywhere. There's some dust on the bottom, but other than that, you cannot tell I wore that shoe. The only way you can tell I wore a shoe is the I wore brand new black socks with them. And the fuzzies off the brand new socks rubbed with the brand new shoe and just put some lint balls in there. But other than that, you can tell down the bottom and everything. Everything looks still dead stock. Uh, that crease, or what looks like a crease, that was how they came whenever I got them. I actually had put uh, the uh, crease protector things that you slide in your shoe to protect them from getting creased. I wore those, so therefore, like, I didn't put no creases in them, and that's how they came. But this shoe, it's just like the Jordan 3 UNC uh, PEs. The only difference is, is right here you got a UNC uh, logo instead of this. Uh, if y'all look at this, they put a deep or a real thick um, embroidered Jumpman logo right there. And uh, from what I've been told by people who has the PEs of this, um, that's one of the things. And then on the back, like on ours, it says like soul. And on the PEs, it says basketball. And they got better material, better leather that they used to make theirs. Which, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, this leather, the leather that they used on these is is butter. Um, and, and I love it. Like I said, this is my number one shoe of this year, hands down. Um, and, you know, my top three... Uh, that's my favorite shoes that's came out this year. That's not Jordan 1's. This list, yeah. Uh, I, there was too many Jordan 1's that released this year to make a all-in-one Jordan release, uh, you know, top 10. So that's why I did the top 10 Jordan 1's that I hit on this year and then the top 10 Jordan 3 through 14's. Um, there's another shoe I wanted to mention that I thought I brought, um, but I guess I didn't bring it, was the Hyper Royal uh, 13s. I could have swore I got that shoe this morning, but I must not have. And then, um, shoot, what was the other one? There's another one that I was gonna put in there. But the Hyper Royals are dope too. That was a recent release shoe, and, and I liked it a lot. But uh, 
Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, like, comment, hit that notification bell, and uh, stay tuned for 2021. Um, I'm going to go hard. Uh, I'm going to try to get any good release this year. There's some stuff that I'm possibly going to skip on because I'm just kind of like, eh. Mm. They're just colors are just not really me. But there's a ton of heat, and your boy's going to try to hit on all the hot stuff that's coming out this year. So, uh, and like I said, my Yeezys are moving. So as soon as those come in, I will be doing a review on those for y'all. I was hoping they'd already came in before 2020 uh, 20 was over, but I guess not. Um, so just keep your fingers crossed that I'll have those within the next week to give y'all another video. But like I said, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, please drop a sub, like, comment, hit that notification bell. Much love and peace out.